Someone I was boasting about Nothing I would have changed in you But then you slipped up and the truth came Don't out my emotions Someone I was boasting about I made mistakes, you did me wrong Now you got me singing this song, yeah, yeah. Hi guys, hello Hi guys, it's your girl TTK My name is I am back again to another chance to rest. I am currently at the station. Um, my train was cancelled twice, so I think I have another 40 minutes to wait, which is really, really sad. Um, usually they don't cancel that train, but um, uh, instead of walking around or just sitting and feeling so frustrated, I just decided to talk about this thing on my mind. This video was not planned. It's not planned. My train is delayed. So I just thought I should chat with you guys. If there's something on my mind, I want to discuss with you guys. So guys, let's chat. I received a video. Okay guys, I'll just show you what my environment looks like. I'm currently at the station actually. Yeah. I'll just show you what my environment looks like. Just before I um, continue, I'll just brief you on what actually happened. I think some of you might have seen the video going around, maybe on WhatsApp. Some of you might have seen it. But I just felt, um, I felt passionate about it because it seems to have become a trend. Like, um, anyway, I'll give you a summary of what happened. Um, there's this honorable, I think it's the Honorable of um, Nasarawa State, and he's also the Deputy Speaker of Nasarawa State, was allegedly hitting on a politician's wife, you know, like asking the politician out. And um, this politician happens to be his opponent, do you understand? They both went for the same, um, I think they both contested for the same um, position, but the opponent did not get it. He got it, he won only for um, the wife to law honorable his name is honorable the, the, the guy who won the speaker I, I want you to understand this the speaker who won the senate position the senate office position his name is honorable godi uh, ashwashiki or something i'll put it up there somewhere i don't think i'm pronouncing the um, surname right anyway the wife who was hitting on the politicians my wife the politician wife um, invited the Honorable Godi to celebrate his victory, his victory over her husband, only for him to get there to the prison. He was set up, seriously set up. And uh, I think that should be an alert. But because he already had a motive, he honored the invitation. And this is why everybody, I mean, most people were like blaming him. But I don't think it should take laws into their own hands. He didn't rape her, did he? I didn't rape, I didn't touch her. So I don't see why you should be eating and strip naked and shaved. And it's becoming a popular trend. And this is the point of this video. It's not only was strip naked and beating Miss Leslie. Um, the video, everything that happened, the video, the event, while it happened, and they now posted it online. Now, yeah. I saw the video on Instagram, I saw the video everywhere, and people commented, and people were like condemning the senator. Some people said, you know, all those sorts of other things, which means like he got what he deserved, basically. But my bone of contention here is that um, why, first of all, must we take laws into our hands in Nigeria? And then, secondly, what's up with the stripping naked? I thought it was only something they were doing to women to shame women which is bad enough they do need to men as well the same way i felt passionate about it towards women it's the same way i felt passionate about it towards men why should they be, 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 be strict naked why it's just something i thought um, it's been on my, on my mind and i think we should talk about it and i think nigerian government should really take jungle treatment or jungle justice seriously Hollywood target. He made himself a Hollywood target because he had a motive. 
and so it made it um, easier for the wife or the wife to target him or to prevent. Because some people don't have the liver for competition or contest. Some people really take you winning over them or defeating them as an insult. And I think that is exactly what happened to uh, what happened here. I think some people, once you're in a competition with someone or you are an opponent, you become an enemy. It's like they're going into war. And I think that is the reaction um, of that's I think that's the reaction of Alaji everyone's at two or three I think the fact that Honorable Bodhi had defeated, and this is just my opinion, I'm entitled to my own opinion. I think because Honorable Bodhi had defeated him in that context, he was bitter about it. And not everybody is mature enough or had the mind to accept defeat. Some people take it as an insult, some people come for you, beat you up. And that was exactly what he did. What he did. And I think that is only allowed in a lawless country like Nigeria. And um, the surprising thing and the amazing thing by everything is that he, Honorable Godia, was locked up. The whole Honorable Deputy Speaker, that's not us. I think the, the, I think the Honorable Godia's opponent and the wife collided together. Um, Alaji Ekudon's action, action towards Honorable Godia was personally intentional, deliberate. It was deliberate and it was intentional. It was premeditated. It was premeditated. Nobody can tell me otherwise. It was premeditated. Because there were already talks, harmed talks, with gone, waiting. So it was premeditated. It was a pure setting. A pure setting. His opponent, Honorable Godia's opponent, had to use the wife. He has every excuse to use the wife. Since Honorable Godia was hitting on the wife, he gave Alaji Ebulo Ansa an excuse to deal with him. He, Alaji Ebulo Ansa, has every reason to deal with him. He gave him every reason and every excuse to deal with Honorable Godia. It's just the way he went about it I didn't like. I don't think it's the first time women have been hit on. Women get hit on every time. Men ask women out every time, either single or married. And if you're attractive and you're beautiful, the more attention you get. Let's say the way it is. The name of my child is called Tilene, just the way it is. And so I'm just going to say the way it is. If you are to beat every man that hit on you, even you yourself as a wife or as a woman, you become a target because they will set you up. I mean, why should you be beating up men? If you're disciplined and you're a disciplined married woman, you should know how to politely turn men down. Just say no. And there are ways women who know how to turn men down. So why must you? You know, just looking at that video and I'm very passionate about it because I think this stripping naked and beating needs to stop and another thing I find is that um, that came to my mind even though a friend mentioned it sometimes ago like it's so easy to set someone up in Nigeria if or an ex-boyfriend or an ex-husband dumped you or did something to you that really hurts you um, you could do sorry about the background noise um, those are the train times and announcements I mean, it's so easy for you to set him up. All you need to do is just walk into a public place or follow him or relay him into a public place and start shouting and start shouting, see, only, only. People will rally around him. In fact, before he knows what is happening, that will be beating, beating mercilessly. And I think that should stop. Nigerian government should take jungle treatment or jungle justice so seriously because it's getting really out of hand. And um, I feel passionate about it. The one thing Honorable Body I did that was wrong, and that was really, really very wrong, was hitting on somebody else's wife. It is wrong. I'm not condoning it. Don't get me wrong. It is wrong. And I'm not judging, but I'm just sharing my own opinion. And I'm sharing it because I want, um, I want there to be awareness. People are just watching this video and passing it on. Maybe they'll just comment about it. I feel passionate about it. What he did was wrong. He's not supposed to hit another people's wife. But at the same time, I think they're taking loss into their own hands is wrong. It's very, very wrong. It is wrong. Honorable Bodia made himself um, he made himself an easy target. He made himself a gullible one. Forgetting that politics can be very, very dirty. It's a very, very dirty. And in a lawless country, you look, deal with him hopelessly. But I'm hoping he gets some kind of justice. I'm really hoping and praying he gets some kind of justice. Remember the issue of the lady who allegedly caught her friend sleeping with her husband 
so she um, got someone to follow her to her friend's house, stripped her friend naked, beat her up, and she recorded everything she did to that woman, beat her up, stripped her naked, and then posted the video online. As I'm talking to you right now, I'm sure most of you saw that video, and most of you um, heard about it or knew what happened. That video was posted online. Right now, that woman who beat up her friend is now in jail. So what was the point? Because, and that is because she took the loss into her own hand. Right now, the woman who beat up her friend is now in jail. So if her husband wants to sleep with 100 men, he's allowed to do that right now. He's a free boy, he's as free as the body. And I'm hoping Honorable Godia get the same justice. I hope he get the same justice because even though he's a man, I hope he get the same justice. And I, I feel uncomfortable because the direction in which this case or this incident is going, um, Alaji Ebulwansa seems to be having the upper hand. After dealing with him, beating him up, stripping him naked, then you lock him up. That is power, that is connection. And that shows that he is already, as far as I'm concerned, that shows that he already like kind of like what all his pay them or bribe them or something. That shows that that even shows that it was planned. It shows that what happened, the action that took place or the event that took place was premeditated. That shows that because the, the, the husband just locked him up. The, the police just locked him up. Got the police to lock him up. So for the police to not listen to a deputy honorable of the state, a deputy speaker of the state, for the police to not listen to a deputy speaker of the state, also the senator of the state, and they listen to the opponent and lock the deputy speaker of the senator of it's the same person that is the deputy speaker and the senator of national state to be locked up. It means this man already, this Elijah Ebulwans already did his homework. He already had a plan. What the police bribed them lace their pocket with dollars or naira whatever and that's just my assumption i mean my opinion because i i hope he gets some kind of justice i mean what is his case is similar to that of the woman that beat up the best friend and stripped her naked and posted the video online it's really bad and when they take such actions into their hands um they now become the offender that is the thing I am not so optimistic because um, Alaji Ebuluansa, like I said earlier, seems to have an upper hand. And um, Honorable Godoya is still already being locked up. And they're both politicians. So I'm hoping the member of the Senate or the member of the House will rise up um, to the situation. Let us say no to double justice. Let us say no to double judgment. I think it's wrong. It is not right. And it's happening every day in Nigeria. And it is happening in Nigeria for the slightest thing, for anything. You will set anybody up, you shout only, only, and the person will beat you up. Know, it's really wrong. I mean, eating on somebody's wife, like I said earlier, is wrong. But it's not an excuse to kill that person. It is not an excuse to beat that person. It's not an excuse to assault that person. It is not an, an excuse to beat that person up. It's just not an excuse. I, 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 I don't accept. Was she raped? No. Was she touched? No. I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's no excuse really. Let's say no to your treatment. Let us say no to your treatment. It's becoming rampant in Nigeria. And it's becoming the trend to strip naked. I can't. I can't just stand the stripping naked, especially with women. No. Oh, I'm going, another video went viral sometimes ago. Like, allegedly stole the phone. Even she might not have stolen that phone, but she was stripped naked and beaten. In fact, not only beaten, they put something. Don't let me even go into details. They put pepper in her private parts. Anyway, I think I have um, ranted for so long, and I'm going to stop here. Um, <laughs> I should go now in my train. Hopefully, I'll catch this one. Um, so, let me love you and leave you. It's nice talking to you once more. It's been a while. Um, the video you guys have been seeing, I've been the video I've recorded last year. I assume yeah, I recorded last year. So, um, and I've been very, very busy. But I'm trying to edit them and put them out there. I'm sorry for the background um, noise. Okay, guys, please remember to subscribe. Subscribe if you like this video. Like it. Um, 
like it, I mean, give it a thumbs. Share. Don't forget to share. So, guys, have a nice weekend. Have a nice week and enjoy. God bless you. Ta -ra. Oh